He was given up at birth by his mother and grew up in Shawelo. At the time, one of the poorest parts of Soweto. His grandmother, Maria Ndrovu, took on the responsibility of raising him. Today I would be nothing, you know, without her. You know, having to have uh, brought me up, accepted me, uh, took me through all sorts of education. He used to be the first to be in the gym and the last to leave the gym. He was, very, he was dedicated in this sport. As a young star, he trained very hard. My relationship with, uh, you know, Nurse Mandela was great, you know, because uh, when we first met, uh, the first line he told me, you kept me, you know, jumping, you kept me alive in prison. The fight at Sun City drew one of the biggest crowds in the history of boxing. Dingan would be fighting to win his second world title in front of a home crowd. I was proud to be crowned WBA champion at Sun City when all my fight fans were there to witness. In addition to problems with his weight and his promoters, his love life also took a hit. But by the turn of the century, Dingan decided to give it one last shot. He would take on the reigning WBC super middleweight champion, Britain's Ken Katie. I could feel that he cannot see my punches. He cannot even take my punches because I was shaking him. From the streets of Shawelo to the rose of the nation, Dingan Tobela is a true legend. <laughs>